Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Krichler. I'm going to explain the five laws of therapy according to me. The laws of therapy are really the universal principles of change. Relax and breathe. This is the law of comfort. All living beings are either safe, happy and flourishing, or not okay, that is, stressed. There are actually only two emotions, love and fear. Fear activates the fight, flight or freeze reaction, meaning anger, anxiety and sadness. Love enables release and the restoration of courage, abundance and contentment. Chronic stress is the mother of all psychological problems and most diseases, which slowly destroys relationships, peak intellectual performance and inner peace. Being stuck in the stress gear will eventually cause burnout, anxiety, panic attacks, insomnia and depression due to the depletion of the brain's natural feel-good chemicals. Relaxation techniques are really simple and include replacing shallow chest breathing with deep, slow, diaphragmatic breathing and mindfulness meditation, that is, learning to calmly observe your thoughts and feelings. But the most important thing about stress is that it's a signal for change. It's time for a mind shift. You need to change the way you think. Bless where you are. This is the law of perfection. Before Cinderella could go to the ball, she had to settle down in the kitchen, take another look, notice the hidden possibilities in that old pumpkin, the mice and the mangy old rat, which were then transformed into the golden coach, the horses and the coachman, to take her to the ball. See the perfection in where you are. Try to see your failures as feedback, your obstacles as challenges to grow. Accept praise and bless your anxiety, your depression, your illness, your debts, even your fat. I know it seems dead wrong, but it's really a good beginning to look for the silver lining, to remind yourself that every problem is a blessing in disguise. Remember that resistance just adds more energy to the thing you are resisting. How the bleep did I get here? This is the law of insight. Although insight alone will not change the way you feel, it is useful to retrace your steps. Even if your parents were perfect, you came to some far-reaching conclusions about yourself and the world while you were totally helpless and ignorant, and the world was indeed confusing and dangerous. Just like your computer can't work for you if you don't regularly receive updates, your childhood beliefs can't work for you as an adult in today's world. The most common limiting core beliefs are I am not good enough, helpless, unworthy, unlovable, guilty, and the world is threatening, hostile, unfair, difficult, a struggle. Embrace and use your discomfort for change. This is the law of transformation. Good therapy always involves releasing stuck emotion. To make space for more joy-producing thoughts and feelings, 
emotional baggage needs to be released. You can't heal what you can't feel. But the best therapy involves using the power of the painful emotion to rewire your brain. The good news is that the pain has the power to bust those very same core beliefs which cause the pain and to reorganize existing brain cell networks. This enables new interpretations which bring you inner peace as well as more resourceful solutions to old problems. Hypnosis, which is really just deep relaxation, adds a powerful dimension to therapy. Focus on what you want. This is the law of attraction. The master secret of the ages is, as a man thinketh, so he is. Focus on what you already have that you'd like more of. Visualize what you'd love to have, as if you already have it. Act as if it's yours already. The thoughts you think change the way you feel and change the people and things around you. Effective affirmations might include I am created perfect, worthy of love, sacred and precious, good or godly and powerful to create. The world is responsive, welcoming, waiting for my gift and what I choose to see, that is, divine right order. To summarize, relax and breathe. This is the law of comfort. Reassess where you are. This is the law of perfection. Retrace your steps. This is the law of insight. Reinvent yourself. This is the law of transformation. Refocus on your purpose. This is the law of attraction. Thank you for your attention and good luck with your therapy.